and the viewers are just going to fucking love this commentary. No, because I'm the viewer. <laughs> uh, I just I just hope he does well, because that last test with the regular attack plus one light body, serious eternal life build, he, he was derping. He was not dodging anything for the first match, and the last match, like, he didn't start working until halfway, and it was a little too late by that point. Yamcha's not an easy character to win back a fight from. He has a two-bar 7K rush, and it's a quick rush, and he's a melee character. That is so fucking amazing, it's retarded. I. Earth Defenders just have, like, this whole slew of characters with these nice little bonuses. Huh? Since they figured out how to capitalize on these, like, advantages their characters have, it's, it's just been... It's, it's just been them gradually getting better. And then, look at them last season. Not only that, they were the top of the league the entire season. 10k win, 10, uh, 10 wins in a row. That's insane. Also, uh, taking it around, it's a little disappointed. Royal. Bro. Inconsistent. I don't know. Fucking man. <laughs> Oh yeah, it could they could have been outliers. This is why I like doing so many tests. Yeah. Anyway, I, I still think Broly Eye is a good AI. My biggest issue with it is that it likes to grab a lot. When it does that, it can really hurt it. Please don't hit. Damn it. This might end it. it it's it's it, it's the fact that it's the rush. Come on. Oh, well, yeah, no, no. He was on his last bar. They have a hard time um, doing any sort of dodges in the last bar. I'll be back. Uh, okay, I'm back. Uh... Yeah, maybe. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, here's the thing. It's going to... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Here, here's the thing with those quick attacks, those quick rushes. They they don't have to actually touch you. That's the issue with them. Well, that's the issue when you're fighting against them. That's why it's so great as a melee character, because if you're right next to him, it's basically going to hit without even you seeing it. Yeah, I think it's just situational. Like, if 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 he gets the momentum, he'll keep it up. But if he can't, he, he won't. Yeah. See, Raditz's isn't a quick rush. It's one of those ones that he has to rub up for like half a second. It tracks and it follows for a long time, so it's got that bonus going for it. But personally, as a melee character, I'd prefer him to have the quick rush. It just works better up close. Mm. <laughs> no, no, I, I think I'll stay away from it. I think I'll, I'm happy. See. Yeah. Anyway, I, I'm seeing Broly I've ha having a similar issue that Tell I had. It just has inconsistencies where sometimes it's not as aggressive or it can't pick up its momentum, which is fine. That happens to all AI, to be honest. It really isn't, man. I, like, I, I was keeping it on him that, it, that entire last season. It just wasn't. It it kept it kept doing good, and then it like the second it lose its momentum, it lose its momentum. Everything fell apart. You gotta be kidding me! He's doing really fucking good, and uh, and my biggest in the one test that mattered the most to me. Nah. No, 
no, no, no, I didn't. I really didn't. Shelly I isn't as consistent as you think. Here's the thing. You left, like, early on, when after it did the Majin Vegeta wreck chop uh, fight, where it, it just basically took out Majin Vegeta without trying. That's why you have such a high opinion, and because of the off-season test. It, it did great on, against Spopovich, but, like, looking back at it, it was Spopovich. Sure, he's a good character, but... He's got the slowest melee, second to, like, Nappa. It's just... Yeah. <laughs> Those power body, uh... Grab, Happy Tessa, are actually not a bad idea. C taking from what one's not... <laughs> Everyone gets lucky sometime. I, here's my issue. Uh, Sele I kept dying too quickly. He was doing great. I mean, Raditz in general was dying too quickly in those uh, in, the ops, in the main season. He was doing great, maybe picked up the momentum for a bit, lost his momentum, and then got killed in, like, half the time it took him to take down, like, two bars on the other person. Okay, this might be the end. Yeah, there it, there it goes. Uh. I, I think he's pretty up there. He's really fucking consistent. Like, I say he's on par with uh, Adult Trunks as melee. And Adult Trunks had good melee. I mean, the guy has after image strike and a two bar rush, quick rush. He's up there. Oob, on the other hand, Oob is like. No, Oob's great. He's super consistent. He's awesome. But I wouldn't say he's anywhere near as strong as Yamcha. Yeah. No. No, I really wouldn't. I think Yamcha has too many natural advantages in melee. After image strike plus that two bar rush. It's just a great combo. No, I, I know, I know. But they're basically the same character. They have the same AI. They function in a very similar way. There was not much to look at other than their stats. Their builds are even similar. The only difference is Oob has eternal life, whereas Yamcha has Dende's healing and power rage. That's really the only difference. Huh? I don't know. Raditz, Raditz almost took him down. Raditz brought him to like uh, his last bar. And then a little, uh, did a little extra damage before getting taken down. And that was Sally And Sally I seems to have issues against Oob. I don't know why. It, that's why I'm liking Broly Eye. It beat Oob on consistently. And, like, its fights against Oob were consistent and str and good. Fucking, uh, I hate Kill Driver. Why, why is, why is Tien's triangle circle move? Yeah, why does it cancel out? I call it hacks. No, it didn't. No, it, it didn't. No, it didn't. Krillin's, Krillin's canceled it. Look, watch it again. Krillin's canceled the kill driver. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Broly AI is, is definitely the call, f the, the AI for Turles. I'll say that much. It is definitely the AI for Turles. Way better at being melee aggressive than Trunks AI ever was. I don't know what the hell Trunks I was doing. <laughs> that thing would fucking stack fruit. It was smart with using its fruit. I'll give it that, but... God sakes. Yeah, no, but that... Uh, so close. Anyway, I'm happy with that. Him going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Oob's nice. Anyway, um... I, I still think Broly AI is the AI for Raditz at, at the moment. I'll, I'm, it's not like I'm locked in. I'm, I'll go check around another AI. I'll probably start testing more AI later again. But uh, at the moment, I don't see Broly AI needing to be kicked off. It still did way too well in against Tien, Oob, Majub, and... Then it started falling off, but even then, those three characters are strong characters. Yeah. So, him doing well against those three, and, and Nail. 
Let's not forget Nail. He did well against Nail as well. Well, Oob's was, Oob was definitely not passive, and I don't think you could call TN passive. Ah, uh, that was an all. Mm, I'd have to rewatch that, but... Oh, no, Maju definitely wasn't the most aggressive. Um, I'll give him that much. Now, Tien's a defense character, yes, but he's not passive by any means. He is, like, the most aggressive defensive character. Nail! Nail's passive. I'll give you that. Nail's passive. Tien? No. Two-bar beam with his ridiculous melee aggression on Tien AI? I, not passive. Ah, oh, come on, don't lose. I don't know. I wouldn't call him passive. Ah, oh, that's a disappointment. Got locked down on the ground and then kept getting beaten. Yay, another test! <laughs> no, 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 go through. I don't mind. Yeah, I get it. Uh... Anyway, things can't keep going my way. I, I knew it was going to be a matter of time until I found a, an, a, a character or something that would start beating Turles and uh, Raditz. Because they were doing way too well against Tien and Nail for this to be an all-rounded thing. <sighs> yeah, and, and, anyway... Anyway, the, my thing is, like, I, I think you're looking at this too too harshly uh, for Raditz. Sure, he's getting beat by uh, Yamcha. I... Uh, yeah. The first match? I'm not counting that first match. I don't know what the hell happened that first match. I'm... I'll, I'll count it, I, I won't count it as, oh, that's what the character will do naturally. I'll count it as, oh, the character has, the AI might have a chance to derp, has potential to derp, yeah. Which most AI do. Uh, yeah, it, it was it was a guess on maybe Pickle Eye will be spammy. It seems to be spammy on some characters and not on others. I, I don't know what the requirements are to make it spammy. But um, it might be that it needs a 2 Barbie 2 I'm not sure. Uh... It was it was just a you know a, a guess maybe Pickle Eye would do something who knows doesn't seem to be the case um, with Bardock I, I don't know I want him to be a super character he just does uh, so much damage ah uh, yeah Pickle Eye is definitely not looking to be the AI that that's actually sort of nice <laughs> Tian AI though still looking glorious um. Wait, what? Um, I, at the moment, it's got more experience. Like, like it, I've seen it fight more, so if I were to be thrown in this in the regular season right away, TNAI is the one that's going in. Even even if TNAI, like, completely, like, I knew for some reason that TNAI would not work that main season, it wouldn't be Yaj going in next. It would be Chaozu, because... Be a, Chao Tsun might not be as good as TNA. It was still good. It was still consistent. I won't lie. That was a consistent AI. Nah, yeah, yeah. Pickle. I don't. I don't know what this AI is meant to really do against someone like Bardock Spam. Well, yeah. TNAI, I don't know why, but some characters it loves going up to its ultimate whenever it can. Other characters it just doesn't care. Well, that was because you guys used to give him uh, Style the Strong, Super Plus 2, and Savior. Of course, that's what you remember. Oh, that was before you came in? Okay. Well, old, old Saints team used to do that. Which, I mean, it was glorious. 20... Oh, Tiana, uh, Tiana might actually get beat. Or not. It's 
still really aggressive. Ah, uh, this could determine it. Yep. Uh, I hate clashes. I hate I hate the fact that Bardock seems to clash so much. Because in testing AI like this, it's it just kind of messes with the data. It lowers their health unnecessarily. Yeah, but there's no point in putting Power Rage on him because he's facing himself. I know that he should have it on his build, but that's not helpful when I'm trying to find AI. His, his melee. He doesn't need it. He already has strong melee. I, yeah. I, there's no point in putting uh, Power Rage on both AI now, is there? It, it, it cancel out. No, it, because uh, there, there's the fact that they're actually doing damage that way. <laughs> Whoever utilizes the melee more gets uh, the bonus. No, that, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, TNAI. Not the smartest one. Definitely not the smartest. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, this is the thing. TNAI uh, against a character that's not super dodgy probably will wreck shop. Against a character that will try to dodge everything, uh, he might have some difficulties. The thing will keep playing. It was a good build, I won't lie, but I'm loving the fact that he does 10k with uh, B2s. I mean, <laughs> and if this ultimate hits, just look at the damage. Oh, I am not picking Piccolo AI. It is not smart. That was an easy... Oh, come on. If Piccolo wins, I'm going to get pissed. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, that's not his win. Let's just say that was... That was TNI's win. Ah. Uh, that was that was disappointing. I believe so.